Hello and welcome back to this section. I am Raymond Modlin. We are still dealing with the options and how to help your client. So uh, let's get right into it here. Uh, we're going to go to the next section, which deals with uh, the benefits to the seller and the buyer. So let's talk a little bit about the option benefits that you will have. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the benefits to the seller. Now, when a seller decides or you helped him make this decision, what are the best advantages? One of the very biggest advantages out of the gate, obviously, is because when the auction happens, there are buyers that are prepared to actually buy. Typically, you don't get a lot of tire kickers. You may, uh, but certainly people that come to the auction are definitely uh, interested in buying. Because of that, it produces a lot of other good advantages to the seller. First one is it gets rid of all of the carrying costs for this property, all right? So not only do you sell the property, but there's carrying costs that are involved in the selling process that a lot of sellers tend to forget. Things like the real estate taxes are still going on. There's still homeowner's insurance. You may have an interest on the loan. So the extended period of listing versus the short sale and I want to say the short sale, the short time of sale in an auction is going to reduce that the uh, carrying cost of the seller has. Um, the good thing about an auction is, is it truly tends to produce what's the market value because people are going to openly bid against each other and constantly raise that price up. So it's going to get to that market value um, because of the bidding, the inherent process of bidding. The other thing that it does is because of all the buyers that are there, that it exposes this property to a large group of buyers that are pre-qualified all at one time because those buyers actually pre-qualified for the auction, all right? So you know that even if you've got three bidders standing there, all three of those bidders are inherently qualified because they qualified prior to coming to the auction. The other thing it does, and we mentioned just a moment ago, is it accelerates the sale of the property. The fact that auctions are, you know, bang, 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 can in essence bring this property to sale um, quicker. That's another good benefit. Um, a lot of other things go on with that. I mean, you can have, you don't have to worry about open houses, you don't have to worry about showings. You don't have to worry about unqualified buyers tracking through the property and potentially causing damages. All of these things can be an advantage to the seller so that it speeds the process up and makes it nicer. Now, here's the other cool thing it does. It also kind of takes out the negotiation process back and forth between sellers and buyers because the negotiation process is actually taking place between buyers and buyers, all right? In the form of, well, one bid's 100, the other bid's 110, then it goes 120. So they are kind of negotiating for you to bring that price up to that market value. So that's probably one of the key elements is the actual reduction of the negotiation process, all right? Now, so what are some of the benefits to the buyer himself? Now, there's some great benefits that we've got listed here on the outline that you can see. Um, but one of the other things that it helps the buyer do with that negotiation is it reduces the amount of time of negotiation. Matter of fact, to the extent that sometimes it speeds it up way quicker because instead of you know writing an offer and getting a counter and getting it back and then countering again, you're actually standing in the front yard going, hey, give me, I'll buy 110. That guy goes 120, okay, 130. So the negotiation process that helps the seller, it also kind of helps the buyer because it reduces the time of their negotiation too. The other thing a buyer gets out of this is they know that the seller is probably very committed to selling the property. Since they are literally at the auction selling it, um, they know that the seller is not going to be wishy-washy, that he truly intends to sell the property. 
and that is going to be a great benefit to the buyer so that they don't have to worry about things like that. Um, a couple other things that it does, it reduces the time on the, uh, on the market. So that helps uh, reduce the purchase because of the negotiation and all that, things like that. The other thing is it gives the buyer a true knowledge of the market because he, the assumption is he's bargaining against other buyers that have too done their due diligence so that if he buys the property at a certain price, he probably knows that that's as close to the true market value uh, that, of the property. Typically, too, when he registers, he gets a package of due diligence from the seller about the property. So there's always a lot more due diligence that's given to him in a time frame. Plus, the auction's scheduled. When I went to the auction here in Nashville, you know that it's scheduled in two weeks. So that gives you time to do your own due diligence so that you can ask the questions you want and seek out the answers that you want without having to go back and forth with the seller. Uh, oh, well, can you give me that? Oh, can you give me this? All of that stuff. Plus the outline or the guidelines of the auctions are given to you. So you know how much I have to come with down payment. You know, I've got to have a letter of credit. All of these things that help a smart investor or a smart buyer uh, purchase property actually happen in a very smaller and shorter time frame, which is actually a benefit to the buyer. All right. Now, the last one obviously is there is definitely a better advantage in most cases to the realtor. Uh, one of these, everything that we just mentioned for both buyers and sellers also is an advantage to the real estate agent takes the seller out of the negotiation. It helps the buyers negotiate between themselves. You know that there's a bunch or a group or a gaggle or whatever you want to call them of buyers that are qualified there. You know the seller is true, truly wants to sell. So all of those things that are advantageous for both the buyer and the seller become advantageous for us as agents as well. Uh, the other good thing is uh, it, you can kind of build your own niche as being the auction agent. Um, so with that, you get some kind of inherent auction. I don't know if there's a criteria, but you could become the go-to person. But the byproduct of that is when these buyers register, Hey, dude, that's almost better than an open house because now you have a list of registered buyers that you can actually contact to say, hey, I'm sorry that you didn't win the house at auction, but I've got another house over here. Would you like to go look at that? Or we've got another auction coming up with a house that's fairly, fairly similar. So you also create this list of bona fide buyers as well. If you do a good job for the seller, not only can you create that niche market for yourself, but you can also create a list of sellers because hopefully that person's gonna go word of mouth and you know tell everybody, hey, I, I sold my house through auction, I used Raymond, uh, he was very good, he helped me through the process. So you can actually create that niche market, all right? so. That's the benefits to both buyers and sellers and you as an agent that we kind of have discussed. So hold on, we're gonna stick around for the next section coming up in just a second, stay here.